Don't let what we think is better ruffle your feathers, opinions are like assholes, and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody has one. From left to right, we got the old block Scrooge nigga in the building. We got straight shot, no chaser, Brandy Dan Yale in the building. It's the brain, Nino Green in the building. We got Black Jesus Arco in the building. God bless Big y'all. Daddy Warbucks, CDM, <laughs> Bezo in the building. And last but certainly not least, we got Chuck in the back with the facts. Moment of silence for the competition. All right, now I need you to make some noise for the queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now? I need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boy. Yeah, yeah. Acknowledge him. Yeah. Give it up. Acknowledge him. (laughs) Shout out to our brother Yego, man. He uh, had to miss Pi family emergency. You know, our prayers is with you. Um, I would like to bring this pod in today. Damn it. It's a topic. It says, I know, right? It says, Crystal Kaiser sentenced to 11 years in prison for killing her alleged sex trafficker. <clears throat> the 23-year-old woman who shot and killed Randall Villar the man accused of sexually trafficking her was sentenced to prison. If you recall, the shooting took place in 2018 when Kaiser was 17 years old. She shot Villar in the head, burned his house down, and stole his BMW. The woman was initially charged with multiple counts, including first-degree intentional homicide, arson, car theft, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Kaiser was sentenced to 11 years in prison and will also serve five years parole. Kenosha County District Attorney Michael explains the 11 years is minus 570 days because she has served those awaiting trial. Ugh. Mm. That's ugly, man, right there, boy. This is your <clears throat> justice system. That's ugly. That shit is wild. So this is your justice system. What happened in this case to where they say this man is the alleged hmm. why is it not concrete because like i need more details too she ain't do that for nothing and then she underage you know what i'm saying going through all this there's a lot of red flags here bullshit, i'm you know pretty I'm sure saying? like if she was being sex trafficked if she was in the dealings of being sex trafficked it mm-hmm I'm sure she wasn't going home every night to her parents, so I'm sure they can attest to the fact that their they daughter been gone. Mm-hmm. Her friends ain't seen her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That part. Plus, I'm sure when she said, he's been making me sell my ass. Like, yeah. That's enough they to make... They should have believed that. That's enough to make anybody go insane, bro. Like, yeah. totally ballistic. Like, come on now. There was another case that was like that where a young lady had uh, killed her her stuff. Her, yep. Uh, yep. I remember that. I can't remember homegirl name, but she was light skinned. I yeah. think she might still be in jail too, or did they let her out? I think they let her out, but she got to also pay some money back to the family. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. I think it's just crazy because why, why, how are we not? Like, if dude's not here and there's like a bunch of red flags on the play, how do we just get to him still being innocent? Like, then again, who is this man? Why do you have a, a missing teen, I presume, with a BMW in the house? Like, mm-hmm. why did she blow your brains out and then burn your house down? Like, why was not blowing your brains out enough? I don't think that's, she deserved that time at all. She need she deserves some therapy for real. That's that's crazy. This is your justice system. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Makes you wonder who they protect. <clears throat> and if that was a white woman, mm-hmm. she wouldn't have got no time at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? Mm. Would have went to the nut house. Listen to this. The puzzle factory. You feel me? It says it was later months. revealed by the Washington Post that both prosecutors and Kenosha police had evidence that Villar, who was white, had abused Kaiser and other underage black girls. Mm. Just months before his death, a 15 year old girl accused him of drugging and threatening to kill her. Mm. According to the Post, and police had <clears throat> found explosive. 
exploitive videos of Valar abusing girls who appear as young as 12. What is she going to jail right, for? What? Yeah. yeah, what? If anything, the system failed her. Again, this is our justice system. And the system failed her. This is some it's backwards failed ass us. shit. It's been failed. It never succeeded yeah, yeah, anywhere. Yeah, I'm about to say. It's bro. almost you know like, like it's almost like they protected, bro. I'm trying to by a secret little like you mean that's failed on purpose, bro. I'm trying to tell you, man. You yeah. can put, you can, like oh, real, man. real talk, bro. You can put four people with the same charges in front of the same judge, and nobody's gonna get the same amount of time. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Nobody. Hey, I've been in court That's and watched crazy. niggas get booked it. for different, I mean, for the same shit. And it's they all didn't get the same shit. Like, real talk, mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. I didn't see a dude with GSI and and molestation or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Dude got two years probation. What's GSI? Gross sexual imposition. I was about to ask that, mm-hmm. too. So, is you pretty much exposing yourself? Okay. To somebody. Mm-hmm. Hmm. They need to set the standard for this shit. So oh, you right. for, um, so it's fucked up. Like you can traumatize a woman, you can molest <clears> them, <throat> you can rape them. Traffic them. You can traffic them. Yeah. And get no time. Yep. Five years the most. But a nigga get caught with some bud. Mm. That's legal now, but some hard or some hard uh, anything in that nature. Controlled substance. Mm-hmm. And are we trying to? You feel me? I mean, we live in a world plus. where it's supply and demand. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. And a lot of people don't come from a a, a, a background of where they can have any type of substantial resource to survive. So, right. in other yeah. words, but you get yeah. bagged and taxed for that shit a long time. Mm-hmm. But a nigga that go around and taking some pussy? So, in other words, say for instance, the dude was still alive and he got caught. How much time would he have gotten versus her? For sex the, trafficking? Killing the sex trafficker. Right. But who's to say he have got who's yeah, to say he'd have got caught? I'm just saying hypothetically, but, let's yeah, cuz I'm bouncing off of what you were saying. Hypothetically, if he did get caught, Man, he would have got way more less time going, than, than he her going to the feds. He'd be home in like ten to fifteen. That's funny that y'all say that because I want to run something past y'all. You want to hear it? Here Talk we go. to me. <laughs> I like to hear it. No. <laughs> <laughs> got something for you. Hello, <laughs> Thomas Kiernan. Lane. Minneapolis police officers convicted in the murder of George Floyd is out of prison. Thomas Kiernan Lane was released from federal custody of the Federal Bureau of Prisons in the last couple of hours. In 2022, Lane was convicted of violating Floyd's civil rights. Former officer Derek Chauvin was convicted of Floyd's murder. Lane served two and a half years in a federal prison in Colorado. Minneapolis police officers convicted in the murder of George Floyd. So two and a half years? You can kill a black man for pretty much nothing. And get two years. Two and a half. But if a girl killed a person that drugged her, and I feel like mm, mm, the, 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 uh, you ahead. almost hit the mark. Go ahead. I mean, but what? Buddy, like, buddy, buddy is in prison. That two years was because he had no reason to arrest, bro. He basically watched Derek Chauvin kill. Yeah, he was watching. Yeah. But that's let me tell you something, though. No, that's, no, hold on, no, wait. No, 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 no stop, because no. you cut me off. Now I'm cutting you off. <coughs> Boom, right if back me and him go somewhere exactly. and he watch me kill somebody, exactly. guess what he's going to jail for? If he was in the back of the accomplice. What? Accessory to murder. It's a, you're going down. You right. He gonna get more than two years. You mm-hmm. right. For so shit, he so just sat the there and did the same shit. He did. And, got <laughs> and got two years. But if there was some niggas, damn, I wish I knew somebody. Yeah, you else tangling over. with the goat today, B. Nah, 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 nah. It's been. I'm refreshed and energized. Oh, that I just wanted to make sure that <laughs> ready you had, to you go. Had the, the more was, well, but yeah, anyway, yeah. but what I'm saying though is, I wish I could have somebody who knew the law a little bit to try to explain that to make. What'd you go sense. to school for, Brandy? Criminal justice. Well, Brandy. Which law you want me to? What go happens down? to be the difference in what he said? If him and Screws went and committed a murder, and he would be an accomplice, as to where a dude was an accomplice, it, he and the watched his, is not the same. He's white. 
And he was on the other side of the law. Mm, mm, mm. That's the only thing. Is that how that works? But for shit show. In America? You ain't know that? Mm. Oh, man. Yeah, welcome. (laughs) Boy, this shit set up like wrestling. (laughs) (laughs) That's the only difference, man. Vince McMahon ain't behind no reels no more. He was the only one that had storylines crazy like this. But But to double back, I think it's crazy that, you know what, that this is not a talking point in, like, politics. I think if you wanted to run for president, I think, like, you know, just... This is something that you... uh, Kamala Harris, somebody in your camp, watch this and put this in her ear. You need to be talking about reform on police. On there. And I think you really might get the rise or the the sway that you're really looking for. That she may need. Because we all know... I don't think we in this room are the only people who feel like they have a, a unfair advantage in society against, you know what I mean? Like Bird just said, you just watch the cop, watch a man get killed, and he only got two years. <laughs> we get caught with a controlled substance, and we doing more time than that. Easy. First offense or not. Right. America. Let me stop, Let me play devil's advocate, too, though. Talk to it me. It also depends on... You got a good ass lawyer, cause I ain't seen some dudes have some stuff on them. I'm talking about mm. some weight and did not snitch. <laughs> and like, how in the hell did you get out? Oh, I'm so it, it, I got an answer that for paper. that though. Well, the whole game is of the called? system the is criminal crooked. justice system is literally set up for hey, if you got the money, restitution. Yeah, for sure. You we got we got to get out of jail free card. This wasn't just the monopoly. Gonna, it's gonna cost you though. But mm-hmm. yeah. it's not so, always okay. like that, man. Free Tory. It ain't uh, always man, like that, see, he man. He fucking Ooh, with we. the powers that be. That, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, y'all hear that music he been dropping? Fire. Rub been dropping. Crack. They got I a studio in the prison. In, that, that yeah, it's quality, called Band Lab. Right. That quality was so good. Yeah. Like, he rapping it to a phone. The phone <laughs> and he's sending it the wave files to the engineer. <laughs> the engineer <laughs> putting the sauce <laughs> on. <laughs> if a regular uh, nigga uh, can get I, a phone I, in I, jail, Brandy. Niggas who sell all that shit. Extra a mi- shit a millionaire? A millionaire? Yeah, a you don't think he can get a phone? Somebody they search that nigga's cell. That's crazy. You, you, Mike. you don't think it's somebody hiding his phone for him after he's done uh, spitting it hot fire? You want? They do you want it? some of this hot fire? <laughs> <laughs> so they boofing a the phone? Why do you I keep listen, this crazy? I've never been on inside of jail to know the ins and outs. Oh, listen. But oh, let me go to phone. my penitentiary correspondent. Okay. <laughs> Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> do they hey, be boofing? No here. <laughs> do they be boofing phones in prison? Like, how did they get that off? What do you mean, how they get that off? Having that phone. No, he can't say that on here. Oh, I, can, I can. I can. He can't get a game up on oh, there, man. There, man. I just, I'm, I'm saying though, the same way you would get one. Uh huh. Can I get a guess for three hundred? Hold on. If we don't do that, we gonna do it right. <laughs> so, you know, just like there's dirty cops, there's dirty COs. Facts. And mm. if you could get a couple dollars in prison, you could influence that correctional officer to bring oh, you yeah, drugs. Yeah. To bring you phones. So if you got, listen, so if you got millions of dollars from being outside of prison, I'm sure this nigga probably eating Wagyu. Come on, man. Hey, listen, I'm going to wire that 10000 to you tonight, man. Go on and give me your phone. Damn, 10 bands for a phone. Yeah. For how Type shit. That's that or how that's long. even, that's that he probably just right used a CEO's phone. On everything. And as long Every as time that they, he don't give him a couple nobody. dollars. <laughs> What's a couple dollars compared to what I'm about to do on this motherfucker phone? This song about to go and make millions. Sound like the water need to crack down on it. This sound like you're a hater. Free Tory. Free Tory. Nah. <laughs> yeah, Canada. They should have been there. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Do the crime, do the time. That's tough. He okay, we, we doing man. the time. Why? And that already came. Why we got to do the time? Shit. What type of shit? <laughs> Come on, I want y'all thoughts on this. Just kidding. She says, my husband works, and I am a stay-at-home mom. Oh, man. He is the most unselfish person I know. I handle all the finances, and he has never said or acted like it was his money. It's our money. Oh, mercy. Anyway, <laughs> that's damn near sound like a butt, don't it? 
He is upset with me because he found out I had a bank account he knew nothing about. I've been making money online and keeping it from him. He says that his problem is not that I've been making money online, but that I kept it from him in the event of a divorce someday. He said that women keep a stash of hidden money in the case. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sounded like a dickhead. Women keep a stash of hidden money in case the marriage fails like a man keeping a side chick in case the marriage fails. And we both need to be all or nothing. My mom raised me to have a secret stash that my husband doesn't know about. Is this wrong? Is my husband right? And I don't like how she walked out the room when I start reading this topic. But <laughs> we'll get to that. that. We'll get to that don't later. That. Is he? Tell me y'all thoughts on that. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. I don't want to hear Brandy. She the only girl. I um, want to know what you think first. Yeah, before I get to bashing. She a dirty ass motherfucking dog. You dirty ass bitch. And you making money on <laughs> talking about you been working online. What you been doing? Only fans. Only fans. No, you dead Ooh. wrong. That's some selfish ass shit. And you should have divorced you. you do, and first of all, if you in a marriage, ain't no secrets about your dog on money or none of that. So you want to, oh, he's so unselfish. You bitch, but you just being selfish right then and there. You should never have no secret stash away from your husband. Especially if he's treating you good. So yeah, that's my opinion. She an OnlyFans hoe. <laughs> feet finder. I feel like any female who has that type of mentality is in it for the wrong reasons. Shouldn't and be married. To- shouldn't be married because it's a double standard right there. You don't you you gonna sit here and try and because you're gonna give me your opinion of what a man is and should do uh-huh. and all of that. But the moment I say what a woman is or should be mm-hmm. and should do, oh, you ain't gonna get control of me, nigga. I do what the fuck I wanna do. Uh-huh. Ooh, all that extra shit. Mm-hmm. But you got all you got the whole and manual, you got the whole manual on how I'm supposed to be as a man, though, right? Mm-hmm. I stop you when you start lying. So <laughs> there is no way, shape, form. If I can't have a sad bitch, you can't have a sad account. And this is my thing. Hello. When Preach. you get married, Preach. you're supposed to become one, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Because I know for a fact, once you marry somebody, you take everything that comes with them. If they have kids, you take the kids. It's a package if they deal. if they have debt, you yes. take that too. Mm-hmm. Child support. Everything. So you mean to tell me I got to take everything that come with you, but you don't want to take what come with me? Yeah. Nah, not what come with me, nah. but you want what you got to yeah. be yours. Oh, like, yeah. Nah. yeah, what's yours is mine, and yeah, what's nah. mine is mine. This, this will never <laughs> work. Like oh, your man. cash is my cash, <laughs> and my cash is yours, yeah, my, my cash. cash. <laughs> <laughs> they say you can't have cake <laughs> <laughs> and but eat that, it too. What? No, but she got some like, cake with a slice of pie. Boy, for but real. like that's, that, that, that to me, it also sets the, sets the relationship up for failure mm-hmm. because it sets a wedge of division already. You know what I'm saying? So you already plotting it. Like, you already thinking this ain't going to work. Why would I even sit here and invest that, my yep. all, bitch, when you sit yep. here already? You, you you already, a fraction yep. of you ain't even here. Yeah, you done yeah. already mentally checked yeah. out. Yeah. You, so you, why am I, <laughs> I, I'm going to be high and dry. Yep. Oh, bitch, you going to, I'm listen, I will break a bitch down. Then you talking about your, yeah. your, your, your mama, your mama <laughs> you taught you. You got me fucked up. You talking about your mama taught you to keep a secret stash. Bitch, did your mama have a man? That was no. doing what you just said your husband was doing for you? Absolutely. Are you Pro- I, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure not. And that's another thing, too. Mamas why put they hurt from on, the past onto their kids, I'm telling you. Why are we speaking on I'm glad you said that. This just triggered me. I just had a conversation with a female before on this situation, too. A lot of females taking advice from women who do no, not God, have... No. Do, who do not have yes. the blueprint for keeping the man. Because yes. they mm-hmm. real fucking got talk. one. Yes. Real talk. So how are they going to tell you how yes. to keep something, how to do something, and they ain't, can't keep Show one that got one they fucking sell? Preach. Me. Y'all need to figure out something else Church. because y'all running away, good niggas, and wondering why you keep running into some of the same issues. You keep doing some of the most silliest shit, trying to pull up all them good find ass words. And shit, yeah, where, where, where all them good ass words come from? Y'all be one. pulling up too on them 
with little slick ass arguments. What is it? Uh, What's this uh, dumbass gas little lighting and all that uh, other yeah, shit? Yeah, hey, yeah. they just learned Man, that what? and they've been what using the that hey, ran shit up, that shit boy. to the ground just Don't like gas lighting. Now, now like, what is it? Demure. 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 That is not that very word. cutesy. That I am very good ass word. Next, very modest. Next bitch I hear say that, you know what I'm going to say? Use it in a sentence. Demure. <laughs> <laughs> Use it in a sentence. They like it because it sounds yeah, like nah. they think they, they saying something. Hey, so I'm not saying it. They like it because they think they saying it. something French. Yeah, yeah. demure. It sounds elegant, yeah. head ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's sad too. But, so, Can't you just see him with a glass of Kier wine? Like this is so demure. <laughs> <laughs> the taste is so robust. It's so demure. Uh, man, shout out to man. our sponsors, man. Yeah, shout out to our wine. Shout out to our wine, man. Hot tea, baby. Back on track, man. Listen, I just I think y'all hit the nail on the head, and her and anybody who thinks like her is a funky dog head bit in the <laughs> word of my nigga Snoop. Uncle Snoop. <laughs> Facts. So did y'all know we had a black female millionaire in the city? I did not. <laughs> no, I didn't. Dating woman arrested for <laughs> $1.5 million in Medicaid scheme. A woman from Montgomery County was arrested in Texas. Everything's hey, bigger in Texas. <laughs> was arrested in Texas for Medicaid fraud. Was even Ohio thing? Attorney General Dave Yost announced the arrest of Janae Corbett, a 36-year-old woman from Dayton. Corbett was indicted earlier this year for allegedly stealing $1.5 million from Ohio Medicaid. Mm. Hold on, let me. Hold on, got something oh, for you. Man. York's healthcare fraud unit investigated and found Corbett reportedly stole the identities of multiple people so she could own and operate two sham behavioral health counseling agencies in Dayton. It is also believed that Corbett stole the identities of several licensed counselors to use their credentials, billing Medicaid for services that were never provided. Mm. The Franklin County Grand Jury indicted Corbett on eight felony charges in, charges in May, including those charges were first-degree felony charges of <laughs> aggravated theft of $1.5 million or more and identity fraud against a person in a protected, a protected class. Well, all them government signatures up on that thing. I'm surprised Charlotte, got, Charlotte Maine didn't make her the donkey of the day. After months. <coughs> now, she about to be the want want for sure. After hey. months on the, <laughs> on the I'm, Corbett was arrested at a bus station in Dallas. Ohio's Medicaid Fraud Control Unit coordinated with Texas Medicaid Fraud Control Unit, Dallas Police, and the U.S. Marshal Service to apprehend Corbett. Ohio now seeks her extra. Oh, come on, bitch. They, we want you. We we seek her extradition back to the state to answer for her charges here. So one thing about Ohio. If you are if you like they coming, they 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 we are an expedite state. Bring that ass here. girl. Mm-hmm. So it don't matter where if, if you if they want your ass. If they catch they, you. they come get they, you. They, 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 if they want you, and they can, and you get caught. You ain't sitting too long. They coming to get you for sure. Mm-hmm. There's certain states that don't. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. once you gone, you gone. Mm-hmm. Just if we catch your ass here, we gonna mm-hmm. get you. Mm-hmm. But Ohio, we don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. They, well, I ain't gonna say we. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> they coming to get you. That's I knew great. that girl looked familiar. And the crazy thing is, like. How the fuck did that go undetected for so long? How the fuck she get caught? That part, what, like, what was yeah, the what was like, the red flag? Yeah, what made them start even investigating into mm-hmm. her like that? It take it's a process. It I'm takes a, takes yeah. a minute for them to investigate, and then they like, like to. It seemed like they love to wait till the shit rack up. So when they get yeah. you, it's boom, yeah. you know, and it's felony. And I was yeah. gonna say sure it ain't pretty- gonna take a long to accumulate a million dollars. Not, not Especially really. Especially through you know medical. I mean? like, yeah. But you know what's so crazy about, about this? Years though? or something like that, and it's over with. She ain't mm-hmm. get no time for it. <clears throat> yeah, she is. No, the fuck, she ain't. Well, it she ain't gonna be too much time to where she can't come home and spend that money if they ain't find it. She That's listen. True. This the, you got to think. Think, think of this. What she did. What she did is considered white collar. This is mm-hmm. tax. You said she owed two hundred thousand. Yeah, I'm that still leaves her with one point three. Yeah. That's you know who Earl Marshall is. That's tax laundry. The little tykes daddy. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, just. I don't think she had the whole one point five on the right thing. I think that's just what she. Oh was. yeah. Yeah, what she accumulated, yeah. spending in real shit. life. Either way, good to know. <laughs> it's a white, it's a white, it's a white collar crime, and they do not. And if you look at anybody who has went to prison to federal prison behind tax or money laundering, they never did no serious time, bro. Two years, three years max in the I federal look prison. That up. For real, think of uh, Wesley Snipes. He did two fucking years. Tax evasion. Tax invasion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's Wesley. He was a celebrity. What the fuck? Oh, well, my point is, so, I gotta but this bitch it. accumulated 1.5. But that, that, that wasn't you, just not like, that's, oh, oh, I forgot to pay my taxes. But look, you know though, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that, no, she d- stole that shit. Embezzlement. Like, that's, Identity theft. Yeah. It's the same all shit. Of that. Again, it's, like, the same, it's, it's scamming. A bunch of shit. It's behind. just the same as scamming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Think of, uh, it's, uh, a, it's a scam. It's yeah, a scam. Yeah. Again, it's a white collar crime, bro. They're not yeah. about. They not giving out football numbers for that shit. That's why we need much, to start doing. How much motherfuckers chill? Get to, like, how much motherfuckers go there? Chill. For, like, be ready. <laughs> For like hey, some so, uh, <laughs> them Ponzi schemes and shit, yeah, though. Like, how much motherfuckers? This is what I'm saying. They yeah. don't even be doing a lot of time, bro. And you got to yeah. think, they, this is fed. Yeah. Eight months and I, fourteen days is a year. Speaking of what you were saying, I Bernie Madoff was the nigga who uh, perfected the Ponzi scheme, and he didn't do, but he did less than, I think it was maybe five. That's what I'm okay. saying, man. Just, and they be embezzling millions of dollars. Oh, boy from um, Pretty Ricky. He did. Uh, baby Blue. Yeah, yeah. He did. What? How much was it in that PPP? Like two milli? Yeah, he ran it up. Yeah, I think Dude he, went crazy. Yeah, what about <laughs> and a year or two? And didn't hide none of the money. He started buying foreigns and big ass ju- Like, you ain't pretty Ooh, Ricky, yeah. Ricky, Ricky, he Ricky. Ain't that, had a yeah. hit in a long <laughs> time. <laughs> He See, spe- spectacular man. smart. He had his shit behind some type of little. Uh, I think he's scamming by- too. Think Come on. the things that make you go. Mm-hmm. All right, <laughs> just make sure you with me, goddamn it. I got a question uh, while we on the subject of Ponzi schemes. Whatever happened to that one little thing everybody was doing where the names the all go? Yeah, what happened, <laughs> what happened to Susu? He said, I ain't fucking with What happened to Susu? Damn, dummies. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I ain't fucking with that susu shit. I had a nigga on the phone with me for 45 minutes trying to tell me how we pay another motherfucker for a week and then we pay another motherfucker and then another. And then he was like, well, you know, since you just now getting in, you'll be the last one. Yeah, I bet you damn, yeah. you fucking right, I'm going to be the last one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. You tripping. Uh, damn. Hey, who, who was that? You got to recruit another person. to Boy, I can't even remember. Susu was so long ago. That's what I'm saying. When he said Ponzi scheme, I'm like. That was a scheme. Hmm. No, for sure. If what you happened to that see Susu that, shit? Hey, yeah. you know who I, a, a, a quite popular person in the city got caught by that? Who? Mr. Stephen Ernest. Uh, what you mean? He got caught susu No, he, he <laughs> thought he was going to put money in somebody else's pocket, then somebody else gets some money, then he was finally going to get his turn. Like, I shit. see him. I was like, no, they didn't get him. Oh, he, tried, oh, he was yeah. a victim of it. He was a victim I of think it. Yeah. Whoever okay. was in the middle of the pyramid is the motherfuckers yeah. getting all that yeah. damn money in the pot. Yeah, whoever. Yeah. And at that time, I just was like, bro, have y'all never watched the story of Bernie Madoff? Because then, like, if you knew about a Ponzi scheme, that was exactly what mm-hmm. that was. And it was like, damn. Mm-hmm. Shit, think about it. Uh, that whole little uh, Bitcoin shit. Uh, 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 Karma Coin. That was the local fucking one. Hey. hey. Uh. When I say niggas did whale pumping dumps on that, Alex, <laughs> Alex was a heavy you know, uh, boy, boy. What she was, Corma Coin. I'm telling you, they just gave die. away a car. And Man, they, they, I got it tatted. Like yeah, they gave away a car to to get a certain shot that I will not say on camera. Uh-huh. Cause y'all not gonna take down another one of my episodes. Mm. Ooh wee. Um. Mm. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Now, can you imagine? I want y'all just imagine this with me. Imagine after 50 years of marriage, you decide to go get a DNA test on your children. Mm. Can you imagine that? We done been together this long. Years. After a 50 piece, now I want some DNA. Ooh. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see what my man talking about, man. I have been wondering for a long time about whether these children, we have three children, whether they're mine or not, they're all so ugly and they don't look like me. I'm a real handsome dude and these kids look like they come right off the street. (laughs) Okay, Mrs. Willis. Yes. 
I mean, y'all have been together for a long time. Oh, what is your take on it? We've been together for over 50 years. Wow, 50 years. You know, one time I came home and I pulled in the front driveway and I saw this car down the street take off because somebody came out the back door. It was the repairman. I told you the washing machine was broken. The results, reasons follow. Oh, God. First, child, Mr. Willis, you are not the problem. That's what I figured. No. Oh, that's good. No. Uh, that, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Second child. That's that's got to be a, it's a mistake. Mr. Willis, you are not the father. You are reading someone else's file. This so can't be true. I have a mailman and a and a plumber. Oh, child three, Mr. Willis. I, 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 I pray and I hope. Please. But you are not the father. Oh, oh my God. God. Mr. Willis, oh, we must all learn to Ooh, be I like water. As soon as she said that shit, I would have got mad. Man, listen here, listen Honey, here. I love you. Don't leave. Me. Yeah, man. Cause she, she thought she was waiting on him to die so she can get I'm all a, the money. I'm gonna tell y'all what I told Beezy. It would have been a scene at a New Jack City. I would have pulled a gun out in that courtroom <laughs> and would have smoked her. At 50, would have smoked her. I thought you her. was talking about the champagne, yeah, nigga. Yeah. I ain't this, the, you was who shot? I, Hold on, wait, I though. Think was, I thought you canceled it. Listen, bitch. though. I didn't think he was talking about smoking. No, her. Right, who was the nigga that smoking. shot? How old was the nigga that shot Nino Brown in the court yeah, building on New right. Jack City? A uh, old nigga. Old oh, niggas your, is not oh, gee. playing. Your soul is required Man. in hell. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what, that's what I said. That's, <laughs> that's exactly wow. what I would have said. Hell no. Man, Damn. that's crazy. Yeah, I ain't, oh, I ain't gonna lie. I'd have, I ain't gonna lie. I feel you. I'd have smoked her ass too, yeah, bro. Because what, mm. what, what, what do I have to lose? I have spent my whole life raising these raising ugly ass kids. kids. Ugly ass kids. kids. My, the money that I have invested, the time that I have invested, he how I've his whole treated life. you. I've been faithful to you. I've taken care of you, and you have fucked on me and got pregnant three different times. Bro, his whole he wasted his whole life, bro. Time out on the field. Fifty what? year marriage. <laughs> what busy? All he needed to know was when he came through the front door, and the dude repair ran man up the left bed. out the back. Man, he what? was stupid as hell after that because I'm trying to tell you that right point right there. She touched your goddamn face <clears> with a hot iron, and you was like, it was on accident. It what? was the repairman. This don't even told him it was repaired. Repaired. He, 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 fi he fixed the washer. Have you, <laughs> have y'all oh, ever that. been in a situation <laughs> or in a relationship with somebody where you just tried to find every reason to not believe that they on some fuck shit? No. I feel like he picking on me. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm not. I'm asking an actual question because people know. go but through that. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. People deal with certain shit and try to find any reason to keep dealing with shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I also know a couple people. Huh. Male mm -hmm. and female. Okay, say it one more time. So, like, no matter how many red flags, it's you, like... You ignore nah, them. You try going. to find every... Like, damn, now, nah, well, maybe... You look for the good in them, in a person. To he try really to stay did around. trip and fall in her pussy. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's a good guy. Maybe he one of the ones, but I feel like too. Like, <laughs> if he gonna do what Nino de gonna do, and that's blaster, blast yourself too, because it took you that long to realize these ugly ass kids was not yours that look like they came out the street. You know. And like, yeah, you stupid. Well, he said, I I mean, been, I've been thinking about it for a long time. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> and I, he, he, I look at it like this. Like, he a stand-up motherfucker. I condone no. him. No. He but, won. He, no. He, 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 it was a ponder. And it got to the point to where he like, you know what? Hold on, wait. The funniest shit, though, about that whole thing is when she said the second kid wasn't his. This nigga said, okay, so now I got a, <laughs> said, I got, I got a mailman and a plumber. Mailman and a plumber. Wow. Yeah, he's oh, stupid, man. Bruh. He's stupid. <laughs> it took hey, but, all these years. But hold on, though, because I, one more time, like, bruh, you a real nigga if you willingly take care of the next motherfucker's kids. Like, you know what, fuck it, I fuck with you. Like, not saying that he wasn't a real nigga, but, like, he really thought the ugly-ass kids was his right. and just took after their mama, like. That's the that's the level of deceit here. I wonder. But, he, you but, he, but you gotta think though, while he's taking care of him, he's already in question because he like, bro, these don't look like that. Could so why wait fifty? Fire. 
Wow, most whores have sitting on some heat. So that's what I'm saying. That was like what he just said. He found a reason to try to stay and make it work. It got to the point to where I couldn't. He can't take it no more. I have to know. That nigga seen grand. That's what that was like. Okay, and and it took fifty years. Mm -hmm. It just took fifty years for him to be like, you know what? Enough is enough. I need to fucking know. He said, you know what? I always knew you was ugly as fuck and don't look like me. And that baby confirmed that you ugly as fuck and don't look like me. Bitch, I'm taking you to court. You know what, though? You made a, a valid Excellent. point. I would have never even been in that position to even have to pull a gun out and shoot her because as soon as the baby would have came out ugly, I knew that that ain't my baby. I make cute kids, bitch. This ain't my baby. Yeah, I rebuke you. I be looking at this baby. Hey, what they doing? Three hundred to the ugly babies. This is for Sparta. You hear me? Oh man. What Cat Williams say? Who this? Who this white ass baby right here? I make handsome babies. I make white ass babies. Handsome babies. Oh shoot, yeah. God bless them. You hear me? God bless them all. He didn't know what to call him. He said they look like they came off the, the street. street. <laughs> yeah, he was Saudi. So I got a I got a question. Yeah. Does someone's political views impact you dating them? No. Yep. I'm not politically inclined myself to so to speak. So I'm like, you know. It depends. Because I I I say yes to a degree. And only because I look at what people tie to politics Mm -hmm. and religion, religion and race is tied to politics. So, you know, your standpoint on black people is on definitely play a part. If you don't, if you don't fuck with us, you know, what are we doing here? No, that's we're, not, a, that's, we're not gonna have nothing in common. I mean, that to that speaks about. for itself though, because it's like if your peoples ain't fucking with me, it ain't even no point of us. But you got, it, but you, know you got I'm some saying? people that don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, you I'm right. I'm sleeping with you're you. Right. I'm not fucking your mom. I'm so, not fucking your daddy. No, none of that yeah. shit. I'm fucking with you. If your people don't like me, fuck them. I don't like them either. You got a great point, that's, right? I don't have I to like them. That's too much. Uh, here's the here's the flip of that coin. Negative yeah, it's a, it's a big flip. Because depending on the person that you're dating, they just think that that's their beliefs. Like, people can be swayed sometimes easily, sometimes not. Mm-hmm. Okay, for a perfect example, my old lady, mm-hmm. she was really oblivious to how much the um, the cop violence was, like the blacks, according to, like, whites and shit. Because, like, you got to think about misinformation, mm-hmm. how you're raised. Mm-hmm. Like, all of that plays a part into the beliefs and shit. But that doesn't mean that they are stuck like that. Some people do be stuck in their ways. But then, like, I feel like I was for the best because I opened her eyes to a bunch of shit. And now she is, she has to witness, like, racism towards her kids. Right. All right, perfect example. I have my oldest daughter. She looks just like me. Light skin, long hair, my face on a little girl. Then I have my youngest daughter, white skin, blue eyes, blonde hair. Gangster baby. So when they see my youngest, they look at me like, oh. You like a stepdad. Yeah, you, you're you really good for taking oh. care of that white baby. <laughs> white baby, but I made this white baby. You, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's like it's now ignorance. if her... If her parents was racist, which they're not, thank the Lord, they would have to fuck with me because they got black grandchildren. Now, I know that that's fake and and that's also toxic in a certain way, but like that's forcing the issue. Like, you got to get over it. This shit is a part of you now. Respect you like it or not. I, okay, I'm not going to, you might know this. I know somebody that's just like that. Mm hmm. Mom is strictly about, you know, but she has black grandbabies. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not she, everybody. She, she may she may speak to you and all that, but she will not fuck. With, she's like, she's oh, like yeah. no. we talking about in like the Drexel <coughs> Third yeah. Street area. Mm-hmm. Type right, shit. I'm just seeing. I'm just seeing if I'm picking up what you putting down. Yeah, that, that that neck of the woods around no way. That shit is crazy to me. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's absurd. because 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 yeah, because because like cause my the only reason I say that is because it's <clears throat> that's some psychological shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you already met. We really know how you feel. Mm-hmm. But you got these 
little babies, that's biracial. Mm-hmm. So you deal with them because you have to. But how you feel about mm-hmm. uh, it's different. So like makes so make help. Sense. You you feel what yeah, I'm saying? It ain't Again, adding up. that take me mm-hmm. back to a. Uh, I don't know if I ever told y'all a story about uh, how I really like, became okay with homosexuality. I think you. I yeah, remember, we spoke. Yeah, yeah we spoke I, on I that. Think, yeah, okay. Actually that kind of that kind of that kind of touches on that. Okay. I can't love. I can't hate homo. You know what I'm saying? People who are gay. When I got people when that I, got, I love. When I got gay. people yeah. that I love, that's gay. Exactly. Exactly. That doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. So I have to be okay with ones, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It just ain't got nothing to do with me. Just respect their decision. You ain't you ain't got to like it. It just be weird you know? to me how people try to, you know what I'm saying? <clears> and, 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 this, and, and like you said, it's toxic. And so there, it'd be a different on how one gets treated and all type of shit, bro. Mm. This and just went a little bit deeper just, than I wanted to because I want to ask you the same question just in another narrative. You clearly don't like Trump. Could you date a girl that would vote Trump? Big. I will. Yes. I will <laughs> have Donald Trump. Hold on. Uh, on her booty. I, what she got? I want him to answer because I'm gonna <laughs> simplify it. I want. I want to hear it. 2020. Yes or no? Uh, it depends. It's dynamic to it. So I can't say okay, that. so let me ask you something. <laughs> okay. Would you fuck a female that's voting Trump? Yeah, freaky ass. Hold on. For sure. I, I, <laughs> so God, she's was... good enough to get a piece of you eternally. Yeah. But Total she's time. not good enough to date you home. Nino, you a freaky ass nigga. Oh, damn, I said, uh, but hold on. Time out. Time out. You're, that's a trick question. Is it? Yeah, because I just sat here and said, "Would I do that something like di- that? that?" Yes, you would. Oh, all right. <laughs> I, there's di- sure there's di- di- there's dynamics to if uh, to if I would or would not date a female who's. So it's a conversation to be had because I would have to see her viewpoint on certain shit. Hey, would you go be hitting her? But you so, like so, this so, Mala, so, so, man, so again, so <laughs> fucking her and She's pulling the truck booty shorts down. Mm-hmm. Like, it's <laughs> two different things because <laughs> me fucking her is a physical attraction. I don't care nothing about her intellect or her political standpoint. Okay, so let me. But you also said that religion and stuff like that tie into Rest politics. It, it does. Would you date somebody that was of different religion? I wouldn't go no further than a Muslim. A Muslim. Huh? I take what's for, I'll, what's, take, I'll take a Muslim. What's after that though? Nothing. <laughs> you said you wouldn't take it no further than that. I'm saying yeah. what's further than Muslim? What's like I mean, I'm next? not going I'm not going outside of that. And, so you saying that cuz Muslims are the closest things to Christians. So you wouldn't So we have be, somewhat of a similar belief system. So you couldn't date a Baptist. I mean, they're Christians. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's the now you, now you well, talking, see, now you talking you denomination. Could, could data, um, well, y'all see how much data or, or like a, an like Indian, a you, a who? Indian, like with the red. <laughs> Can you date a you? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> what about Asian? I'm just kidding. I'll date an Asian chick. Why? They have a completely different face. Uh, not all of them. Yeah, not all of them. So what are we talking? Because we at, at, like this. We're not talking they, about Americanized Asians. We're talking I'm about talking, an Asian Asian. I'm talking about Asian Lord Asians too. Mercy. Japanese, Chinese, like, whatever. That's the fuck. not like everybody, Christianity. Is. They got a whole bunch of guys. Every, every yeah, everybody that's what does. I'm like. Ain't no monks in Christianity. What are we talking about here? But that's what I'm saying though. But everybody is not one religion over there neither. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, what so religion there, is so exempt? Are, so that's so what I'm saying. So there are people. That's what I was trying. That's what I was trying to get to. That is outside of Christ. I said a Muslim. I'll take a one. Who practice who practice Islam? But why? anything that is why she has a similar belief system okay. to mine. I just explained but that. Sir, did me. you not hear me? How many more actual religions have you dove into and really checked to see if you disagree or agree with their beliefs? Quite a few, sir. I'm Name very a few, uh, I'm, just I'm to be just, just Buddhism. Uh, so what uh, it is about that you couldn't date somebody who practiced Buddhism? It's a different belief system. Man. What I believe, if two do not walk together, we can't agree, sir. But what's wrong with Buddhism, though? Well, it doesn't it doesn't match up with what I what well, how I. What believe. does it match? Their ethnics or how they or how they live. I do some. I, I live a certain or what my beliefs mm-hmm. in a certain way and how they is it's different. But I ain't what? no being in tune into yourself and meditation and shit. I mean, but you gotta. It's, 
if using chopsticks. On young green eel, what they like me, young young sing me on. I don't know if we doing the booty shit or the Chucky uh, chant. I don't know if we transferring like, souls. Did anybody difference. know uh, that difference. the Chucky fucking chant is fucking um French? Not no, that. I didn't know that. Well, did I know, know that? They speak Wait. that down in Louisiana. And that's how they uh, like that's Creole, that shit. Creole shit. Like, oh, okay. But okay. so you couldn't see yourself dating like a Jew, at all. <clears throat> what about middle? We ain't gonna stay on this no, too much long. I'm just curious. Yeah, I could because uh, it depends on what, uh, are they Messianic Jews. See what type of Jew are we talking about? Man. First of all, can, hold on, can I can I cook? Because I've been a little. I'm saying, that's crazy. We was just talking about some can shit I, like this. I'm just saying. That we, okay. we don't get hold on. Busy. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's a broad you said you're very familiar with religions. I am too. I've read every doggone thing. I've even read the uh, Book of Satan. I mean, you're a Bay. librarian, so it's some books that I, I I'm not gonna sit here and say so, that I've, I've read all, every religious book. But you just I'm said fami- I'm familiar that you would date. Lot of- you would date an Islamic woman because y'all beliefs are similar. Similar. Even though they don't believe Jesus was the son of God, they believe Jesus he was, was a prophet. A prophet. Now you belief. said you would you would mess with a Jew. A Jewish person do not believe in Jesus. They only believe in a Torah. They only Again, what what Jews are we and talking about? And Jesus ain't in the Torah. They only believe in the Old Testament. And, which, and which their is Old fact. Testament, the Torah is way Different from what I, you are reading in the so Old Testament. So again, uh, what listen, type of Jew are we I talking heard about? Because all that, Jews I heard that black People were the original Jews. We are. You know where I learned that from? Talk to me now. Kanye West. <laughs> you say Jesus. Jesus. Say, hey, say, <laughs> say, say well, if I talk about God, Jesus. my records won't get played. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's take away from my ears. <laughs> <laughs> take away from my spins. Oh, I miss the right. take away from my sins. I want everybody to name a TV show that started off strong but then became unwatchable. Ooh, ooh. Be a mess. Mm. Man, what? I, that's only three seasons. They ain't came back. Nothing. Yeah, I stopped. Watching. I'm saying that last. Yeah, season. I ain't gonna lie. That last season was a little, I mean, little shaky. Gotta, well, it was new for me. Little shaky. Kind of shaky. I was just into it because you started from the beginning. Yeah, that shit. Was- weeds is one. What? What not? The last probably like the Start last season corny. of Weeds went and- Empire. I was gonna say oh, Empire. Empire, Empire, Empire. Brandy, all right, you yeah. fall back. Yeah, the still, mic is hot. Yeah, the yeah, mic girl. is hot. She about to go I'll on say, the red. I got one. What? Uh, that Bel Air season. Hey, hey. I was just watching that. Nino the the new season. season. Did they get this out? Mm-hmm. I didn't even know. Oh, yeah, shit. They, yeah. Uh, he said it was that bad. Stars. The, the promo on that just went to. Do you remember how? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna say it was. Good. It was going up. You said I, stars. Yeah. Star, you mean star like oh, star, yeah, from what, Fox? What that's um, nah with the move uh, the, with the, Queen Latifah? Yeah, I like that show, bro. But it, you know why that I, show got canceled? I don't know why. It got because canceled. it was a Lee Daniel show, and he's the same person that owns Empire. Empire. And when that Jesse Smollett shit happened, they okay, it fucked his whole mm. goddamn situation up. Damn, that's tough. That's fucked up. I fucked with Star. Me and my girl used to watch that shit. At one point, I started liking Star more than Empire because Empire yeah, started, started, started to... It started mm-hmm. doing... Mm-hmm. That yeah. shit was getting wonky. It was getting watered down. Where's the story going? He got cancer. <laughs> Surprise, I don't. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all writing this shit today? This, this, uh, this bitch snitch on me. I go to jail. I make a song called Snitch, snitch Bitch. Snitch. Like, I don't snitch fuck with her. Ass, then I get I out and we get remarried. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you sent me to jail and then I got, Nino, we got remarried? That, uh, Nino, but that bitch... What the fuck? That shit snitch with Pete Pablo and them recording that shit. Was it was like the snitch, Whoop That Trick remix. Yeah. Yeah. Snitch a nasty nigga, I know. That shit was yeah. yeah. the yeah. Like, they was Ooh. riding so high to where they they, they had, like, um, the music from the show was coming out on albums and sure selling. Was. Oh, there sure The was. Empire yeah. albums yeah. was yeah. selling. Sure was. Sure was. They, they was had good do. music. iTunes yeah. was killing them. Or they was giving. Do y'all remember they was doing the local spotlight mm-hmm. on Empire on, on yeah. the little segments on so the commercials was. and shit. Yeah, so it was. Had, and hey, the, the how, competition was them in power. How mighty they fall! I'm trying to think. Is it another show? Yeah, it is. A uh, scandal. That, uh, All American. That used to be. They fucked shit. up when they fired Columbus Short. Scandal started going downhill. Like when they fired Columbus Short. Yep. Blew it. It's another one. It is another one. It's another one. It's about to come to me. Oh, two and a half men. 
Oh yeah, once when they Charlie replaced Sheen. Charlie Sheen yeah. with yeah. Ashton Kutcher, yeah, it was over with after Fuck that. Fuck Charlie Sheen. What? No, nah, you bet not. Char- I mean, rest in <laughs> re- re- rest in peace. But you bet not. Fuck Charlie Sheen. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, that fuck that nigga. It's another show. It's but home. Damn. The Simpsons. Nah, Simpsons. I thought it was boy. As long I'm as the Simpsons the keep Simpsons telling the truth, yeah, they, they, they go. Off. Hey, they I'm good. Sorry. They already in my book. Sorry, y'all. Do see that damn Gina yeah. Martin. Yeah, damn, Martin. Man. Yeah. When Gina start complaining, but think about how she fucked. Well, nah, because she bounced <laughs> back with uh, my wife yeah. and kids. My wife, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's I that find out he was right sliding there. the daughter. Bl- fucked with me. I was Hold like, what? 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 Come again? Yeah, huh? bald head was sliding the daughter. Allegedly. Oh, okay. I thought you I thought saying what they something said else. Was Hillary, talking, not Hillary. You talking, uh, talking about pops? Yeah, Hillary. They said it was Hillary that's during what major pain. Major Payne. Him, Hillary was yeah. on Major. Yeah, yeah oh. she was on Major Payne. Okay. Orlando well, said it I was, in the interview. Th- was that the source? Okay, never mind. He, said he saw the trailer. He said, was that the source? <laughs> yeah, we can't. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. I mean, uh uh-uh. uh He's so far. Uh uh-uh. uh. You don't to even me, know, baby. Truth, yeah. but he definitely keeps some some disinfo in there too. Yeah. That's how you get them people Something off the field. Really wrong with him. It's a lot of shows, but I can't even think of them. Like it's that. a lot. But all right, to try to switch gears a little bit, and then we're gonna go into another topic. I've been on YouTube and. You'll be surprised how many pilots for shows that came out. Did y'all know it was a Beverly Hills Cop pilot show? Yeah. With um Brandon T. Jackson and Eddie Murphy? Yeah. Mm. Uh, wait, that's a show? It, no, it was, it was a pilot. You know, oh, it was they pilot. shoot pilots, okay. pilot episodes to try to pitch to different, like, t- like no, ABC, yeah. TV, okay, all that shit. Gotcha. And if they pick it up, then they'll start shooting for the actual season. He did say right. that in that interview, yeah. Gotcha. I see that interview. But I've been seeing a whole bunch of pilots that I never knew existed. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't know. I you gotta me hit. That's why it's called a pilot shoot. Yeah. It's the, let's see off this one episode yeah. if it's gonna be hot enough for it. Yeah, hey, if we could generate enough buzz shit, somebody gonna pick it up. Mm-hmm. It was a show that, uh, that was playing just not like about two years ago. And I was into it. It came on Fox. It was called uh, um, Us or something like that. Uh, it had a... Uh, uh, it was like a relationship show? It had a uh, uh, Morris Chestnut in it. It had... Um, mm, I ain't hip. No, it came out. It came on like Tuesdays or whatever. Uh, a Part of Us or some shit. It came on Fox. Oh, this though. is Us? This is Us. Oh, okay. Okay. And that shit was hard as fuck. And then all of a sudden, like... And it was a good show to me. Like, hopefully they get their second chance. You know, like a lot of the, other shows. Yo, I'm, I'm a, the, oh, the the game. Yeah, oh, that shit, yeah. the game. I, I forgot wagon. all about that. That's how bad it got. We can. That was probably. Yeah. That's probably the number one answer. Fall yeah. off. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. So it was. Over. It was oh, like. Man. Then they rebooted it. I'm like. Me and, stop. Mm-hmm. Interesting Please. fact. Interesting fact. Me and Melanie was going through a breakup at the same time. Oh, oh, oh man. Yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh. oh. Hey, that was one of the saddest breakups ever. Though. I swear I was oh, crying watching Melanie it. and Derwin. Oh, God damn. Was I was dead. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Russell left me. <laughs> and, said, Russell left in hindsight, me. Melanie was kind of a jit. Yeah, she like, was fucked up. She was kind of. Yeah. Melanie back was on some bullshit. Again. She was getting around. Yeah. yeah, Melanie was on some bullshit. Spreading that mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say mustard. Uh, uh, she was getting hot dog. Did y'all see the Obamas? <laughs> in, oh, yeah. Did y'all see the Obamas in their speech? I hey. did. Yeah. I did. I want to play a couple of some motivation. Yeah. Excerpts they from these dropping speech. bars on yeah big, for sure. Big motivation. L- listen to my my boy. It, it is one of the oldest tricks in politics, from a guy whose act has, let's face it, gotten pretty stale. We do not need four more years of bluster and bumbling and chaos. We have seen that movie before, and we all know that the sequel is usually worse. America's ready for a new chapter. America's ready for a better story. (laughs) We are ready for a president, Kamala Harris. (laughs) 
and Kamala Harris is ready for the job. And Sound like the world is ready for a female president now, don't it? Yeah, Did you buddy. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Hey. Michelle, 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 Michelle. That shit ain't sound like wrestling to you? Uh, <laughs> that shit sounded like you were trying to promote Kamala to get the fucking world woman title, bro. What the fuck? Hey, hey, this shit is rational, bro. This hey. shit is hey. But this we knew is we knew that up. already. You right. ain't saying nothing that we ain't know. But let me tell you, if this was wrestling. This nigga is the he is oh, the yeah. CM Punk, the Rock of this yeah. shit. You yeah, hear for me? Sure, for sure, because yeah, he definitely had a fucking talk Cena, his ass Cena, out. Cena, Cena can talk on the mic. I, yeah, for sure. Hold on, I got another who's one for you. Who's gonna tell him? Who's no. gonna tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs? They was in Stop Who's playing. gonna tell him? I wanna hear that one Who's gonna time. tell What'd him that say? the job he's currently I seeking might just be <laughs> one of those black jobs? <laughs> oh hell no! Nah. What? Hey, <laughs> not my baby. They went and got the big guns for this one. Hey, I'm they went and got my president. No, we talking about Kamala. He said my president. They was president. spitting bars. Yeah. They was my spitting shots. My president shot. still black. <laughs> hey, hey she should have ran. Michelle said, "Fuck that." When we go low, when they go low, we go high. She said, "Fuck that." When they well now. When they go low, bitch, we going to hell. I ain't going to lie. That presidential seat changed you. Barack was all vibrant and young, black little oh, mini oh, fro man. and shit. <laughs> next four that years. nigga look like Morgan Freeman now, man. That next four years that killed shit, that nigga, whoop. didn't it? Boy. Hey, boy, he tired of the motherfucker. Hey, boy. Bro, bro ain't slapping he tired. Boy, he refreshed now. Shit. Hey, yeah, yeah. This nigga just showing you his summer playlist and everything. Like, yeah, me and Michelle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But just the fact that he got the, y'all know who else he had? Uh the the fake president from Scandal. Fitz, he, oh, I guess yeah, he, yeah, he had the fake president. <laughs> That's funny oh that you God. brought that up. <laughs> Brandy, don't Fitz. start Brandy. I, I get what? jungle fever. This motherfucker start wiggling. Did you see? What? Get the spray <laughs> bottle. I love hey, Cat I, heat. I thought she was about to do the uh, Bill Cosby. I thought she was about to do Shout out to our sponsors. Oh, oh man. Shout out, shout out to our sponsors. <laughs> hey, hey, the 69 guy over there like shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I get jungle fever sometimes. Oh, no, we know. Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. So look at Russell she said, I get jungle fever sometimes. I just kind of wonder how I keep going under. <laughs> 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 we got an album coming. Uh, a different network production. Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm going to call Yego real quick. I want to call bro. Yego. I want to call bro real quick for this topic. Because, you know, seeing as we were all artists. <laughs> Ooh. Let me see. Are you ready? Let me see if we can get bro on the phone. Hold on, let me try. Let me try like Hold this. Up, Hold man. on. I'm going to try like something this. Something funny as fuck happened at work today. Yeah, something funny happened I mean, What'd you say, Arco? He over here laughing fuck. about work. <laughs> something funny as shit happened at work. Hey, bro. Shit funny as fuck. I don't know if we're going to get bro on the phone, y'all. Damn. I don't know. Hold on. Let me try. Damn, some. son. Oh. Where you find this? Let me try one more time. Trapaholics mixed. <laughs> <laughs> you heard. This is my last attempt. We got it for cheap. <laughs> <laughs> 21 grams uncut to the gut. Hey, that should You've be been a good listening topic. to old mixtape. That should oh, be a very, good topic. Very, Who very had the good. best drop on a mixtape? Which he, DJ Drama. Gangsta yeah, Grizzly. Sure. There ain't no there ain't even nothing to debate. Yeah, for sure. Cause in the mixtape world, it was a couple of honor. Yeah, 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 yeah. uh, if they uh, come second. Who Chief Keep just dropped that? that uh, Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Uh, the person you're trying to reach is not available. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Bigger ranking. He was a good DJ host. Bigger, I love bigger. Uh, the one nigga, uh, the white boy that was hosting um, Gucci shit. Uh, oh, smoke yeah. Smoke one. Burn oh, one. Burn one. Burn one. Yeah. Burn one. Mm-hmm. 
every time I hear that tag, I instantly be like, I'm a gold mouth dog definition. And, that, and you know what? And, and I, I didn't even know that was. He told me, I found that that was a white dude that put, that was in <laughs> all that shit. White boys. But boys. listen, it's a, the alchemist. <laughs> he cold with that shit. It's a lot of white yeah, boys sure, out here man. that got that sauce. Got saucy. I'm trying to tell you. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and just read it since we couldn't get Yago on the phone. <laughs> this is a conversation to be had with artists. And, you know, we've all been artists or still an active artist. This is, bruh, so screw say, why is it that as black people, we put an age limit on everything? You can't be 35 and rap, they say, which is weird to me because how old do you have to be to stop singing? What's the age limit on being a parent or pursuing a career in medical? What's the age limit for one to be mature? Because you people on Facebook be childish anyway. How old do you have to be to be mature? Hold on, wait. And, re- and responsible and accountable. I can't be a 35-year-old rapper, but you're going to vote for Trump's old ass to run a country? <laughs> make it make sense. What? Well, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I agree with you, brother. I mean, hey, it ain't no age limit on success. You know what I mean? It's never too late. Uh, if you got a dream, chase that motherfucker. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Yeah. You only get one life. And that's 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 that on that. Respectful. That's that on that. Um uh, with that question, were you talking about far as being a rapper, having an age limit as being a rapper, or are you talking about having a Black people have everything age. else that it's just in it, oh, where the we age. we are the only culture of people who oh, okay. put a age limit or a, a cap mm-hmm. on how old you can be to do certain things. Oh. Just be okay because I was about to know? say something and, about rap. I was gonna cook on rap and cook I cook on rap. And cook. my whole and you know what I'm saying it's just the what inspired me to write that post is that I seen a post mm-hmm. and somebody has said something about. They it was a joke that they had made, but they was talking about you know niggas being thirty five, yeah. local rappers know? or and all that type shit. So my whole thing is like, because feel- my because my thing is this right, mm. it's mm, until the, I make that mm, and your ass is reciting my songs exactly. and shit and coming to my concert. I'm the same thirty five year old rapper you was just saying give it up to. And it's always it's but always. But then I, as soon as I make it, I'm the same thirty. Hey, your shit fire and I'm banging it. Yeah. Your kids banging it now yeah. is just say it's a yeah. different tone. But it's always a motherfucker who ain't trying to do shit that's gonna tell you some shit like that. I'm a man, hey, your old ass out here, you know what I'm it's saying? Like, and they not taking the, no time to do no shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, so, so let like, me let me dig deeper. All right, they always say, like, oh, why do black people do that to each other when it comes to rap music? They don't do that when it comes to uh, white folks don't do that to each other with uh, country music, rock music, pop music. You know why? Because them motherfuckers ain't singing. Uh, I went the, uh, to the hood today and I shot my cowboy. They're not, they not doing that type of shit. They're not talking about violence. They're talking about love. They're talking about, shoot, they ain't lost their long love and all that type of shit in type of country music, pop, everything. When it come to rap, yes, nigga, you 35 years old, you sound stupid as fuck and too old to be rapping about drill music and all that no don't no so that does i mean i play devil devil's advocate on that too i'm gonna keep it real mm-hmm. now if you rapping about something else and you older 35 then yeah y'all men get away with it anyway in the industry us females really can't get away with that they'll look at us like y'all old hoes need to sit down again so y'all no, get away with people that putting age but limits you're on too something. old no. to be rapping <clears throat> about you know if you 35 and up you too old to be talking about you got ops and all that type of stuff. No, that yeah, I'm gonna say rap stupid. is rap. Like it ain't country even, music. They don't do that. And it sucks rock that music don't. When you say rap, you automatically think some kill gang bang shit. You that's know what's, what I mean? That's like, what's that, going on right now, so though, Arco. Up, I hate that shit. Like I really do. Arco, like, that's all. This that's what the oh the, the culture God. is right now. Am I being honest? I, that's what the culture is. Man, Cause I listen to cats like Big been. Crit. You know what I'm saying? And it, I fuck with Big Crit, uh, but they don't push him like they push. King Von, like they yeah. push FBG Doug. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, it took somebody like you to tell wow. me, like, you ever heard of him? Yeah. And I had to look Big Crit up. Right. Wow. That? For real? Yeah. Uh, you went hit the Big Crit? Uh, it was a song. They, uh, well, he was saying, um, 
I try to give them some. I try to give them that. Like he was saying, like in that song, I try to give them mm-hmm. all these. Like, now it's yeah. back to now. Now they mm-hmm. want to see a country yeah. nigga rap. That yeah. shit was hot. Yeah, first. Like, who the fuck? And I felt him because at that time I was rapping. And he's like, I try to give him this and that. Man, mm-hmm. fuck all that shit. The industry don't want me. Fuck it. It's underground. Yeah. And I'll have it, you know, so. But they not pushing him like BZ said. It took somebody to hit me on to him. Yeah. So. <clears throat> My opinion sent, sits in a real. <sighs> you said that the people that say shit like that is people that's not trying to do shit or anything like that. You feel me? Yeah. This is what I say. Mm-hmm. Majority of the time, Hold on, anyway. But we try to always say that we put a cap. Us black people put a cap on just rap music. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you. If you're a 35 year old rock uh, uh, rock music maker, country, or anything else in between, if you haven't made a uh, lead way, if you haven't gone somewhere with your music, it don't matter what you are. The people, your parents are gonna tell you the same shit. The people around you are gonna tell you the same shit. Hang that shit up. <laughs> I think you need a. It don't matter go. what. Ju- <laughs> it don't matter what genre of music it is. And I don't see nothing being wrong. People always want to, the first thing they want to go to is, well, 2 Chains, he didn't blow <laughs> till he was 36. They well, sure. guess what? 2 Chains was also a part of a successful rap group called the, uh, Disturbing the, 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 the Duffel, yeah. no, nah, I'm not the, Disturbing Boy. the Peace for sure, Titty. but he was a part of the Duffel Bag Boys. Yeah. He was a part of DTP. Yeah. He had already had, he already had his foot in the industry he already had industry mm-hmm. connects and had industry people mm-hmm. so if he was already in that line of work he was already getting paid to go on tour and all types of shit before mm-hmm. yeah, he, he ever put the out the true religion song. album the mixtape you see what mm-hmm. i'm saying mm-hmm. he already had his foot in the industry mm-hmm. but if you still if you haven't made no leeway after a certain amount of time you're 35 we got kids, we got bills, we got, my oldest is dropping music now. Yes, fire. Mm-hmm. That video was good. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So like at some point, you got to be able to tell yourself, But what if it's me just your passion this. and you just really like making music? Music. I, I, I am the, listen, thing. I am the perfect example of whenever I got that feeling, mm-hmm. I go make a. Uh, I'm taking Jamaica to Jamaica, or I can go make a. Ooh yeah, yeah. or I can. But I'm not actively pursuing rap. Yeah, but who's telling you to stop? Arco, you nobody, are nobody. You see what I'm saying? Arco, like, when you at this age, you better. When you at this big age, you are, you better off trying to bank yourself on TikTok and making a song exactly. and putting it on TikTok or becoming and a, a successful it, it podcaster. Yeah. Because look, this is this is why but I say not that though. Necessarily, I didn't really. Like picture it as oh I'm gonna make a career out this shit, but it's just like this is a passion. This is what I like to do, and why would I stop? Do no, it as a hobby. If, no, but if you're not in your youth, if you're not trying to pursue it as something that you want to like be, <clears throat> because it takes a lot to be an artist, bro. And I that's where I'm that. at in life. I, I don't want to like, bro. Tried to, but bro, yeah, hold on, it, wait, listen, okay. listen. I'm gonna give yeah. you an example. Bro tried to get me to do do a performance recently, right? Mm-hmm. And I told him like. Bro, I'm not getting on nobody's stage if I'm not getting paid, right? Mm -hmm. But I also know I haven't recently put in the time or the effort or the energy to get paid for my craft. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like a stalemate. And I'm not going to. I don't have that energy to put into that anymore. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I got kids that want to be basketball players and rappers and cyber crime uh, (laughs) investigators and whatever the fuck King, he probably making a bomb right now. (laughs) Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, bleep out the B word. (laughs) But I'm just saying though, you feel me? So at some point, when do I quit being selfish and keep trying to pursue something that I haven't put my energy into to be successful in, when I can put that energy into them and give them that shot. Because one thing I never had was a parent or somebody that was that interested in the shit I had going on and was investing in my... If if my mama would have been fully behind me like she was when we played the drums, I oh, probably man. would be what? a rapper right now, bro. You would have been out there... 
with with Lil Bow Wow and them back in the day. <laughs> you feel me? So that that's what I'm saying. It's a great. It's like it's kind of it's hard to explain how I feel when it comes to that. Like I can low key agree, but it mm-hmm. depends. Like if you actively out here, you getting paid for shows, and you, I mean, you're already you got a you got a leg in the game. Yeah, I can dig. So it. why would you stop? But I ain't got that going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what yeah, I do got yeah. going on? The number one podcast coming out of Ohio, <laughs> man. One time, man. One time for us, man. Hey. I can dig it. I can one dig time it. for us. But now, I, I want to know what y'all got to Let say. Me, I'll feel, oh, go ahead, Let bro. me bring it home. Go ahead, shoot right, your so. shit. There is a cap on everything. Every career, there's a cap. I want you to know that. There's a cap on be it. Whether you want to be a famous movie actor, a doctor, a veterinarian. Like After you get past the age of 40... I ain't gonna lie, the acting thing, I can't completely agree with. Okay. Because yeah, you could get cast as somebody's grandpa later. True on enough, life but to uh, make it. Samuel big, Jackson. <laughs> what did he say? Two chains had his foot in the industry. That man is a legend. Like, come mm-hmm. on now. Yeah. Come on now. Have it like the NBA. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You have a cap. The NFL, you have a cap. The NHL, like, what are we talking about here? Everything has a cap where eventually it's just like, okay, you didn't make it. You gave it your fucking all, I hope. Because if you was really passionate about it, you did. But there's you. that's why you have a backup plan. That's why you like, okay, that's why he's okay with putting that shit away. And okay, I don't have to put all my time towards being a rapper because I really don't give a fuck no more. I feel like I'm getting a little too old to be putting a lot of time into that. Let me, he put his energy somewhere else and look what he did with it. I took my... Sports and rapping is is two different things. So with, with sports, that's physical. You putting in that time... Well, Just rapping, you more investing it to yourself to try to get noticed and all that. No, as long as your ass can run or do whatever the fuck you do. How many yeah. four but, or five year old hey, men after are you a while, seeing getting discovered? Your knees go out, man. Right. And that's I cannot true be too. honest. You is wear and tear. I still be is as trash as Wayne been these last several this past decade, I'll say. I still be hoping, like, man, give me one more album. And if he drop right now, I'm about to go get that but motherfucker. But Wayne has been a like, star since matter. he was 13. Yeah, but y'all no, that's the point. Age limit See, y'all no, 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 no. We're saying that fun. no. We're, what we're saying is is an age limit if you haven't already got your feet oh, yeah, in the yeah. game. Right. Established. Little Wayne has been right. a famous rapper since he I was a guess, kid. Bro. I guess. That's not the same thing. That doubles back to the two chain. And Birdman thing. Like you took can't, his prime. You cannot walk into the game as a 35 year old local rapper and dominate. Like, you, bro. You gotta have bricks. All right. Basically, All right. you gotta pay your way into that. You gotta have bricks. Bro. Fuck it, you got me. And listen, it hurts. <laughs> bro, it hurts. But I came to that sudden realization. When I had my five-year-old Kiara, bro, I'm like, man, listen, bro, I'm out here every weekend. Yeah, I'm doing shows hoping that I get somebody shares my shit and they get into the right hands of somebody. Like, come on, bro. Let's be realistic. If I go devote my time and my my talent to something else. Mm-hmm. If I put my energy into starting a business, man. Boom. The money I put into videos. I guess I'm just like a mad scientist. Like, Boom. Listen, this, no, but, and, we're going to try this, this shit again. There's one more thing I'm going to say. <laughs> Yeah. Think about when it comes to music, especially when you in the the grind of this shit. Cause mm-hmm. I didn't really had to be in the grind of this mm-hmm. shit. And I, I don't want to do that no more. But everybody gets paid first, but the nigga making the music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The engineer gets paid. The uh, nigga that make the Facts. artwork get paid, the Facts. videographer get paid, the producer Facts. get paid, the promoter get, get the paid. The, get the Facts. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Ching ching ching. Do you know how much ching, money ching, you ching. dish out to invest in? The- and what do you get back? Mm-hmm. Charging twenty dollars a verse type shit? Cause other niggas is not gonna pay. The you. nigga that's burning your CDs so you can't sell CDs. Oh, Shout, out <laughs> Shout, Shout out to nature. Shout out to nature. For my nigga nature. What, what was you about to say, brother? But, so I'm gonna swing this a different route then, right? Mm-hmm. Because. I don't know. Gospel music is real big, right? Mm-hmm. It's a lot of people who mm-hmm. have been singing that ain't made no lead. Mm-hmm. That ain't stopping none of them. From and that's, that's a billion dollar industry. It ain't stopping. Gospel it ain't, ain't big. It ain't what you are gospel crazy. You are. Gospel I think I. I think you, ma- ma'am. I, th- I think you huge. may want to go back and check um, into that. Well, I, I, but I, I uh, the gospel music is music. a big market to All in right, today, and it's not stopping nobody. 
from putting a group together. So it ain't stopping nobody. Hold on, wait, from, it's not, let stop, me, it's not let stopping me. nobody from singing. It's not stopping nobody from trying to record a, a cut a gospel. You, you know why? Because the church ecosystem is the easiest way to peddle anything you're doing. If you got a shirt business, they going to buy every shirt you print. Oh, yeah, make the shirts for the church. And mm -hmm. if no matter what you're doing, if you a part of a church, they going to support it, bro. Yeah. Church is the biggest hustle yeah. ever. Ever. So it's going to be easy for a motherfucker to get. If you get in there and start making some rap gospel music, bruh. But here's the point. You if, just, you, you if, you pander, if you pander to you that. You completely missed what I said. Come away from the rap music that's not letting you in at 35 and go make gospel music. And what he just said, that's the easiest way. And guess what? You can make money off of creating a craft. Is it you talking about killing it? No. You still rapping. Bro. That's no different than me or Sean. I mean, sorry, Nino. No, nah, go ahead. Directing, good. I'm, I'll be Sean for the moment. Fuck directing it. their energy to something else that's successful. A.K.A. this podcast. A.K.A. my side business. Like... And that's what I did with my the the little equity that I did build in in rap. Mm -hmm. I used it and swayed it with the podcast. That's why mm -hmm. the guests we had, most of them guests we done had, if it wasn't for me being a rapper, they wouldn't. Have, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I used the relationships that I built and the resources that I built through being a, mm -hmm. you, and filtered it through this. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Me, me, and Brandy Daniel was in that circuit. So like, I can dig it. I yep. can dig it. Went and got some rap niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I can dig it. I'm just saying. But now that was some good times. But, hey, and yeah. that was a good era. It was. We had we it jumped. Was. It most definitely was. <laughs> mm -hmm. I ain't gonna Oh hold you. man. All right. Let me see. I think we might have went through everything. I'm about to double check though. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, it's about Corner pocket and get some crack chicken. Now we still got a little bit of time left because a lot of that time, 20 minutes of that. We ain't got no more time. Was pre pot. About seven minutes left to an hour and a half. Y'all know because from I when we started um, intro in the back with the facts. From when I restarted it for mm -hmm. the beginning of the episode. No, so the intro, the intro is the beginning of the episode. I thought you meant the pre. I'm I no, I ain't telling you. I don't count the pre. I count when oh, I say don't let what we think please, is better. Please, hey, fuck the discussion. Bro, we got to talk about homegirl turning her boyfriend in because she thought he was cheating. I almost forgot about that. All right, that's the last topic. Last one. Yep. Mm, okay. Mm, mm, mm. And Because I'm going to give me a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Bruh. I thought you was going to say Arby's. Um, Where you going to go to Popeye's at? At Salem, unless yeah. the Arby's got it, two for six. It's over they with. It's over they with. remodeling. They've been closed for two days, sis. You can go to Miller Lane. Yeah. Or you can go on Main Street. <laughs> it's a lot. It's actually a lot of Popeyes around right now, yeah, I'm about bro. To say, I you got mean. options. I was just letting her know that. Yeah, like don't go there. Yeah. Whoa there. Yeah, don't whoa go there. there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess so I'm going to Arvis. Her story is extremely long, so I'm not gonna like tell the whole story, but I'm gonna get a gist of it. So a female calls her and tells her. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Let me run that back. A guy calls her and tells her that her dude been cheating with his girl and she's pregnant. Mm, 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 mm. Right? Bitch ass nigga. Mind you, oh. sidebar, her and dude just had a baby. Okay. Damn. So she go and like, you know, try to question him a little bit. like Poke around. Yeah. Ask Terrigate. a little question. So when the, the last... Time you fucked with somebody with us since you broke up. Da, 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 da. You know, fishing. Mm, mm, you know how women right. do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No offense, Brandy. You know how women do fishing. <laughs> um. So the girl end up calling her crying. Uh, what did she say? She said. Said that. <clears throat> Mind you, dudes are not all the allegations. Yeah, he said that. Nah, I ain't been fucking with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I've been on the up and up. You know, black, mm. black men don't cheat. Mm. I'm on the up and up. You know, chilling and shit. So. Um, the girl call, call back and say, he just called me. What the fuck? Say, I almost want to play the video because I, I hate that I can't say what she said verbatim, man. Yeah. Yeah. Moral of the story. 
Um, oh girl called back and say that he 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 just texted me this, that, and the third. The boyfriend end up calling back saying the same thing. She go in there, confront dude. She tell the what a proof. Let me let me yeah. let me take up. All right, so this some he say she say. He say she say until his girlfriend says, yeah. pull up on me. Like, we're going to figure this shit out. You you pull up, we're going to handle this in person. Mm-hmm. So, listen, she like, all right, I'm on the way. They She called, and the girl is like, yo, dude, just text me. What's going on? Like, why he just text me? Da, da, da. So, she like, she blow up on dude like, oh, now, and you just text her? Yeah, bitch, you lying? You been lying? So, now mm. dude grabbed the phone like, uh, I don't know what to tell you, but like, she just jumped out the car crying. I don't know what text message he sent her. So, listen. Long story short, they play ball a little bit longer on the phone until she like, um, I'm here. So now homegirl goes outside and she looking. Don't see nobody. Buddy, don't follow her. Outside. Man. Next thing you hear, put your, put hands, your hands up. What? This is Lord. This is done done Lord. arrested this nigga. This and that was the police. Done finessed his girl Ooh. into turning him in. There's got to be some form of that, hey, they boy, shit, they, they entrapment. Use, they use all type of tactics, <clears throat> man. But look, hey, can I ask y'all a question before you say that? Mm-hmm. Can it be entrapment if you're a bounty hunter? Bounty hunters do have a little bit more. Legal. Yeah, the dude. Yeah. yeah, because they're they're you know they're retrieving somebody's they money yeah, basically. Unnecessary. Yeah. Y'all see that big buff ass black dude that be going in bounty hunting? Mm-hmm. Pew pew. Stay away from me, big nigga. <laughs> I'm done. But what was you about to say? But I was just wondering that, like, can a bounty hunter get that off? Because you know they they be finessing. Yeah. Well, if they're on the run from a bond, then they're also that's what a bounty hunter is. Susceptible to a different mm-hmm. set of rules like if you're running from somebody that you know you're running from and blah 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 like a bondsman or whatever Mm -hmm. i'm not sure exactly like they're that part of that isn't going to come up in their court case you Mm -hmm. know what i mean there's it's not there's never going to be in question Mm -hmm. they found you yeah that was the Mm -hmm. reason why they retrieve you by any means necessary basically what do you say is book (laughs) them <laughs> Why was I thinking about yeah, that man. movie? Man. That is crazy. <laughs> but how would you feel, man? Oh, you hear? Did you hear him when he was going to the? He like, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, to you gotta talk to me. Like, yeah, like for real. Uh-uh. And that, and the sad, the sad thing is, Damn. female, a lot of females jump to conclusions. Yeah, like that. no y'all, trust. Y'all, y'all are mm-hmm. so irrational. I didn't know. Y'all are so in y'all emotions. A motherfucker come and say anything. Who hurt you? And y'all, y'all fly straight off at the top. And as soon as a nigga deny or denounce any of that shit, we line. Oh, who hurt you, Scrooge? Why? It ain't me. This is a this is a known oh, fact. Shit. This is a known fact. Damn. Because if a woman come accusing a man of something, and the moment that he denies it or Damn. denounce it, she's believing everybody else besides the motherfucker that she's going to sleep with. You act like the girl accused I gotta you sit here right and here. I have to go to sleep to this bitch mouth. I gotta wake up to this bitch mouth. I have to defend myself it's to, a fi- behind somebody yeah, else's accusations mm-hmm. about me. What'd you say, bro? Nigga. Five day trial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here, man. <laughs> you gotta play your and own then, defense. And, and then and then on top of that is it has to be something detrimental <laughs> that happens like this for your dumb ass to realize uh, you fucked up. He having flashbacks. For your stupid ass to do the shit <laughs> again hey, anyway. No, yeah, I know. Yeah, no. I, and now, as he's talking, yeah. I'm starting to realize I just triggered something. Yeah. It's coming from my yeah. person because I was around. Yeah. So, hey, but look, I, to double back but, on that, let's say, let's say this wasn't the police. Let's say this was your baby daddy ops that you ain't know he had. Ooh, them bitches. That's your way. I'm about to say, can it get any worse? Dead. That's dead. your way. Damn. Both you niggas is in the coffin. Mm. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? Oh, I'm about to meet up with sister girl, and we gon' hey, Shirley, Shirley, this is Barbara. Barbara, this is no bitch. You're you, dead. You know what that reminds me of? I gotta take it back to that security guard that be. Uh, all right, you ever see that uh-huh. video where he yeah. show you how to? And then dude try it, and then yeah, he, he in he heaven, heaven, heaven he like <laughs> some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's what just like yeah. that. And, and that's what I'm saying though. Like, see, women, they so got this togetherness all of a sudden that they gonna help catch these cheating men. It's like, bro, you you just you just got brought booked for you don't know what, 
Or you could have really got his whole spaghetti meatball. Mm. Women power is a Ponzi scheme. Spaghetti meatball. <laughs> All right, great pot. Great pot. <laughs> Scrooge, what you, got, what, you, what you got going on, bro? Uh, work, man. I've been working the last couple of days. Um, I had an audition at this uh, church up in Middlesbrough. Okay. So uh, don't be so humble. It's a mega church. It, it's definitely a mega church. Um, so like he he was already on it. He already about to make his uh, pivot. For. Hopefully, uh, stunt remix on the way. <laughs> he still... I thought because Christmas coming up, the. Uh... Christmas story, you know, with Jesus coming. <laughs> you know, I hear something about that though in the, within the next. What's the name of the church? Uh, it's called Grace Church. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I thought you were talking about you was out there with touchdown no, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say the Potter House or something. Where you going, bro? Brandy? What you, what you got going on? Not that much. Just waiting on this new job. They wait. Uh, just sent in my background check. My background check is good. You know. A girl is a, you know, a civilian, clean person. I have to worry about that, you know. And other than Still going to send me that ounce of crack later? Got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Oh, shit. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. other than that, <laughs> other than that, you know, um, nah, I ain't got that much to do. Just, like I said, waiting on this job, though. What's up, Nino? What you got going on? Working like everybody else. I feel that, yeah, I'm back on somebody's clock, and I'm going to be on there for a minute, boy. That's it, though. Just, uh... Come on, man. And, you know, working with my new my newest artist. <laughs> I know that's <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got a studio session Sunday and a studio session Wednesday. I'm about Should to start taking him. In full effect, I'm about y'all. to start taking him to the real booth. I'm just glad I'm on the, uh, the right side of the faction. Yeah, for sure. What you got going on, Arco? Sing me my favorite song. Ooh, what? He All right, got man. I got, I got it, man. Oh, little, it's a little dang. remixing going on, man. It's yeah. a little remixing, little go- remixing going re- oh, on, you man. Doing what you got going that? on, boy? Shit, hey. I'm gonna be outside, man. I'm gonna be outside. Oh, I'm gonna be outside. I got some shit going on. You hear me? And he don't want to tell oh, us about so, it. He oh, don't even want us to be a part surprise. of it or nothing. Well, nah. It, uh, the old lady's birthday coming up. Okay, you know what I mean? So we got uh tickets to a little comedy show downtown uh at Wiley's and uh go out to dinner and everything, you know. See the see uh also it's what's a what what I'm trying to think about uh this little tiki boat shit out in Cincinnati oh, fuck around and my hit. nigga just did that I heard yeah. it's real exquisite gonna hit this tiki boat up it was demure <laughs> it was demure <laughs> very <laughs> demure <laughs> but yeah man and then I'm gonna be working in the crib gotta hey. get it back then and working Ooh. in the crib Whoa. I'm gonna get Ooh. it back then Whoa. Hey. and whooping feet on that motherfucking mat and you hear hey. me all <laughs> whooping feet Terrence Crawford whooping feet <laughs> feel me but that's it brother B hey listen I don't have all the extras that he got going on. It's really just working in the crib, man. I know. I'm starting to feel like Burr off the shining. All working, no play, make Jack a doll boy. <laughs> Type shit. <laughs> Type shit. I ain't gonna. I need no play right now. I need a good, smooth, ninety day buckle down. Yeah, me too. Same. We should all participate. I do too. I I don't know what it is, but I. What's up with some fitness, man? I want to go to the gym with some niggas. I'm tired of going by myself. I I think that's why I'll never stay with it. Yeah, my arms over there. You see how his eyes popped up? He'll get it. He'll get it too. Where at you? Planet Fitness. I got the plus one. What? Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. I was say because I only got the Y membership. You said you got the plus some. Plus one. Oh, okay. All right. What you got going on, Chuck? Uh, working and football. Got football's coming for you know all the teams are coming into season. This is my busy time of year for football. But uh, it's that time again. The, the main team I got this year is uh, it's the six and under team for Trotwood. Mm-hmm. They're calling themselves the Incredibles this year. They got okay. some uniforms that look like the Incredibles superhero the, suit. Oh, that's hard. So uh, yeah, that's hard. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be some pretty pretty good content from them. I'm pretty sure. When is Eb's birthday? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why we ain't invited? I'm busy. You asking the wrong questions. When is her birthday? Yeah. <laughs> The twenty eighth, but you know we're gonna celebrate a little early. All right, man. So a, gonna be on a Wednesday, you know. We're gonna give her early happy birthday. So when this pie come out, her birthday would have passed. 
uh, if not you, happy, you know, happy fact, early or yeah, late yeah, birthday. You know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I've already done half of the editing while we were sitting here. Boy, that boy Cole. That boy Cole. All right, so listen. Everybody has an opinion. Yeah. Everybody has an asshole. Yeah. And everybody has a podcast. Just not this podcast. This was Everybody Has One. And we're going to leave out with a cut different management's own young Ryan Pose, man. Let's go. (laughs) This video was uh, directed by me, too, by the way. I'm just... Alright, boy. Your boy, your boy, Shot by who? Shouts out to BG Mayor. <laughs> there we go. BG Mayor. Yeah, God damn it. Let's Tap go. To the brown, yo. Let's go. Damn, BG. Not me. <laughs>